Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk about the user-made alternative to the in-game Hollow Table. So what is it? Hollow Explore is a web-based alternative to the Star Citizen Hollow Table. Hollow Explore allows you to modify your existing inventory XML files and then download the modified version to use in Arena Commander and the Persistent Universe. The original concept has been taken from Zane Bien's work, which he produced for his interview with CIG. Basically, it allows you to use a simplified web-based UI instead of the hollow table to mod your ships, and then you can use it without even launching the game. It also gives you a few extra little features and details that the hollow table doesn't. In my opinion, it's significantly better than the hollow table. So how does it all work? First, you need to go to the Hollow Explore website, and then you need to go into your uh, Star Citizen install folder, so Cloud Imperium Games, Star Citizen, Public, User, and Database. Now, in that database folder, you want to drag the db underscore and then your username file onto the Hollow Explore website. If there's no db underscore xml file there, then you want to log into Star Citizen with the account that you want to use. Uh, that will generate a new xml um, db underscore file there for you to use for this. A list of all the ships you have will appear, and then just select the one you want to edit. So you'll expect to see the full specs of the ship in question. We give you some meta stats, uh, the blurb, and all of that jazz. You can see it's mass, loads and loads of things given. Uh, we're more interested in uh, modifying our ships here, though, so we're going to click on weapons. Now, this basically works very similarly to the holo table, uh, but gives you some extra functionality. So um, we want to remove the, uh, the, the size two gimbal here, or size three gimbal here. Uh, we remove it, it will remove the corresponding weapon. So if we've got any specific gimbals that unlock other slots, it will show them here. So we can see the missile racks here. We can put on some um, some size three panthers. Bam, bam. But if we put on a size two gimbal, which would um, then unlock a size one slot, because a size two gimbal accommodates a size one weapon, uh, then we'd then have to put a size one weapon there. But we're going to remove that. And to remove anything, you literally click and drag, and a remove, a remove item tab will appear. And you just drop it in there. Um, I'm going to put another panther on here. Um, ammo, exactly the same as the hollow table. You literally put the ammo um, based on your weapon slots there. So because I've got two missile racks, um, I can put uh, up to four missiles on there. Um, up to eight missiles down there, in fact, because they're the Hornet missile racks. Uh, Shield-wise... Speaks for itself, same as the hollow table. You can um, equip any shields here or remove any shields. Power, um, this is actually power and engines. Um, we can see here all the different um, engines, thrusters, and power plant. Uh, avionics, so avionics uh, in this situation um, just edits the audio of the ship in question, but you can remove the stock. Um, and for aerospace audio and replace it with any other audio that you have. So I've ripped the audio files from the Aegis Dynamics uh, Sabre. Literally just took them off the ship like I took off the um, the Anvil Aerospace one there. Um, and anything that you take off another ship or anything that's in your inventory that is equipable will, will appear on the right here. Um, so I've equipped it with the um, Anvil um, vocals now. So when I use it, it will have those vocals. Um, other, um, so... This is normally stuff that isn't entirely added to the game properly. Uh, in this case, it's the um, cargo big box. Um, I could remove that if I wanted to and then have a size 5 slot, which would then appear in weapons. Um, I could put a fire flash mount there or something if I had it. Um, one of the great things here is that if I hover over any item, it will give me all the stats of it. Well, I say all of the stats, the important ones for weapons. It's giving me the projectile speed, it's giving me the DPS, it's giving me the size, the name of the, the item, all that sort of stuff. This is really, really useful. I can work out how to pair weapons based on their projectile speed. Um, and I can look through here and mess around to my heart's content. At any time, you can click on hangar to go back to your ships list. Um, you can also click on the inventory tabs here to actually see all of your items in your hangar. And you can see I've got quite a bit of random stuff here. This could be stuff that's equipped or not, or whatever. Um, it's just basically all of your equipment available. And once you're done, you want to download the files that you've just edited. Literally just click on the download tab here. Um, open up where you've ever you downloaded the file. 
So it's into my downloads. I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to paste that into my Star Citizen Cloud Imperium Games Star Citizen public uh, user database where I got the file from in the first place. Copy and paste and replace the file there. Now those changes have been made and they will stick. Hopefully. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. It appears to all be working and I have the Aegis Dynamics audio for my ship too. So there are some issues. Um, it appears to work in Port Odyssey, although occasionally some weapons will fall off your ship. I think it might be if they're, some of them are rented or if they're from um, other ships that aren't particularly released yet, like the Sabre. Um, some weapons, whatever, just don't seem to stick uh, and you have to fiddle around with getting them to, to stick um, using the Hollow Explorer or using the Hollow Table or whatever. Um, and sometimes even weapons have gone missing for me. If the worst comes to the worst, you can always just delete your um, database or db underscore xml file from the database folder and then re-log into star citizen that will reset everything with its defaults basically um i've also found that if a loadout was reverting to its original and um, when i tried to load it in port olisar um i just I have to start a drone match with the ship that i wanted to use with the custom loadout and then immediately go back to port olisar and it would have that custom loadout there working then one of the cool things here is that the Sabre is showing up with what appears to be some of the new items for the new item system, getting it all standardised. So it's got four uh, shields here and three power plants. Uh, also, this Hollow Explorer is great because it's all web-based. You can use your phone or your tablet to mod these files too, although you'd still have to get them into your database folder once you're done, unless you're just eerie crafting. Anyway guys, it's worth checking out Hollow Explore, especially if you've had enough of the standard Hollow Table. Um, all the links in the description below. Please tell me in the comments uh, if you like this idea, or if you prefer the normal Hollow Table, um, or if you're really, really waiting for what they do, actual CIG do next, what their new implementation will be. Um, as well as any other cool little mods, tweaks and fixes that you, you can think of as well. All of that sort of stuff really does help me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well guys, uh, and I will see you in the verse.